This is how Jupiter looks like through my new telescope. Just take a look at these details in Jupiter atmosphere. Wow! Hi everyone, this is George Kenkov, an MMH astronomer. In this video I'll be taking pictures of planet Jupiter and Saturn through my new telescope that I got as a donation from an MMH astronomer and astronomy club. It has a huge aperture, so I should be able to get better pictures of planets and different celestial objects. So let's begin! My new telescope is 10-inch MEAT LX200 EMC. This telescope has 10-inch aperture and 2500mm focal length that makes this telescope perfect for lunar and planet capturing. It's much bigger telescope than my 6-inch neutron reflector, so I should be able to get more detailed pictures of planets and moon surface. The telescope is mounted on a tripod with a dual fork mount. This mount is computerized, it has a hand controller and uh, uh, using this controller you can automatically point and slew every object in the night sky, which makes observations easier. So even though the telescope already has a high focal length, I'm still going to use a Barlow lens that will increase the focal length of the telescope twice. And for planet capturing, I'll be using the same camera I used in my previous videos, and the camera is ZWO SI224MC. I haven't looked through this telescope yet, and I'll be doing it together with you guys for the very first time. Uh, it is 10.30 p.m., so let's start our journey with uh, planet Saturn, since it's located higher in the night sky. I'm gonna launch the fire capture app for planet capturing, so we can take a look at the Saturn together. Alright, so there is planet Saturn, and wow, just take a look how bigger this planet is and brighter than this telescope. You can observe the planet's globe really clear. Uh, here is Cassini Division as well. Let's take a look at this planet for a few, sec for a few more seconds and uh, later on in this video I'll post a final picture that I got during the capturing session. Alright, now you're looking at the live view of planet Jupiter and this is just unbelievable. Perhaps it's hard to see at the live view, but I can say that this telescope shows more details than my 6-inch Newton reflector and it's just gorgeous. You can see a lot of details in the Jupiter atmosphere. There are more cloud layers. And uh, also in the picture you can see the one of the moons of Jupiter and this, this is moon is Ganymede. I'm gonna record a few videos of Jupiter and I'm gonna proceed these files through editing programs to get my final picture. And I'm looking forward to getting the final result because I think it will be amazing. just watched pictures of Jupiter and Saturn that I got with my 10-inch telescope. To be honest, I enjoyed this night and the results that I got with a bigger tube. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. At the end, I would like to say thank you to Back Bay MH Astronomers Club and the previous owner of this telescope, Ray Kaufman, who donated this telescope to the club. Uh, because of you, I've got an opportunity to prove my results in astrophotography and share these results with others. Thank you again. Talking about Back Bay Major Astronomers Club, uh, this club is located in Virginia State and runs different events every month at various locations around the Hampton Roads and surrounding area. And I'll add some links uh, to the club's website and Facebook page in the description. You might want to check them out or join to the club if you're local and interested in astronomy. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in content about amateur astronomy and astrophotography. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in future videos, and until then, clear skies!